If you saw my last tutorial on fading elements in and out, everything is going to seem really familiar in this video because what we're talking about in this video is sliding elements up and down and also the slide toggle and everything is really quite similar to the way fade works. So what we're starting off with here is we have three buttons and we have a big pink div and what we're going to be doing is basically just sliding this div up and down. So let's talk about what we have in our JavaScript here. We're selecting our slide down button and when someone clicks on it, then we are going to select the slider, which is this big pink div. And then we're going to slide it down over 500 milliseconds and we're going to use the swing animation type. And if somebody clicks on the slide up button, then we are going to select the slider div again and then we're going to slide it up over a thousand milliseconds, um, but we're going to give it the linear style of animation. So let's just see these in action on the right side. I'm going to click slide up and you'll see that very steadily going up to the top and that's because it's using a linear animation. It's not speeding up or slowing down during it. Um, but when we're doing our slide down here, we're using swing and that's the default animation jQuery. I'm just going to click slide down here and you'll see that slide down. Now this might not be very clear in the video because um, I'm filming this at 20 frames per second in this video. But you know, usually when you see animations, you know the frame, the frames per second is going to be whatever um, is set in your video card. Um, but that's basically um, how sliding up and sliding down works. Um, so let's go on to the next one, which is slide toggle. And here we're selecting our slide toggle button. And then when someone clicks on it, we're just doing this slide toggle here. And I'm not passing in anything. And I'll just show you um, how that works in its most basic form. So I'm going to click slide toggle, and you'll see that um, just go up and down like that. Um, really exactly the same way that um, the fade toggle works. So let's just comment out this slide up one right here um, because we're going to use a new event handler for our slide up button. And in this case what we're doing is we're um, selecting the slider again. We're going to use a normal speed um, but we're going to pass it a callback function here. And then once the animation finishes we're going to alert it's finished now and do something else. Um, so let's just refresh here and see that one. That's when I click the slide out button. So um, let's click slide up here and you'll see when that finishes um, we get this alert. So if you wanted to do any kind of um, other animation or any other sort of thing um, when the animation finished, um, you'll just put a callback function on your um, event listener right here. And you can do that for slide up, slide toggle, any of them. Um, you know, just optionally set a callback function there. So what I want to do now is I just want to comment out um, this code for the slide toggle button um, because I want to add a new event listener for the slide toggle here. And what I'm saying here is um, when somebody clicks on the slide toggle button, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, get the variable this wrapped in jQuery and we're going to store it into this um, local variable self. And the reason that I want to do this is that I want to have access um, to this right here wrapped in jQuery um, inside my inner function here. And this is necessary because if I use this this right here um, inside the function, then this wouldn't be referring um, to the slide toggle div anymore. So what I'm doing next is I'm selecting the slider div and then we're doing dot slide toggle. And then what the slide toggle is going to do is um, we've already looked at it before. It's just going to check if it's open and if it's open it's going to close it and it's just going to toggle that effect. And then we're going to have a callback function run um, anytime the animation is finished. And in our callback function here, what we're doing is we're doing self.trigger. So self is referring to um, the slide toggle selector right there. And then we're going to trigger um, the click action on that slide toggle button. So anytime the animation finishes, what we're going to do is we're just going to trigger another click um, on that slide toggle button. So I'm just going to go to the right side and refresh now and then I'm going to click slide toggle and you'll see what we get is just infinite looping of that div um, opening and closing and I have no idea when you would ever need to do this um, in your code but um, I thought it was pretty cool so um, yeah that's basically how sliding works in jQuery.